Alright guys, uh, AMC to the moon. So I'm gonna be X is a dog's well. breakfast. Oh my god, look at that. 14, break of 14. I think it's gonna go to 1420. I'm long at AMC, let's do the recap as well. I'm long AMC, as you see the huge ask on AMC, cracked it. Um, <clears throat> oh, to the moon. Let's bring the astronaut back. So I'm getting out more on it. So I traded twice AMC at the open for one minute open range break up. So, you know, opened here, it went up and down, but the volume was just so amazing that it just pushed higher and higher and higher and higher. So I, and then it pulled back at 13.50, I just loaded up and the next pop sold, 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 sold. And then it came back down, I added a little bit more, but much, much smaller, and I got to stop that. So, you know, that was okay. I was still positive on it. And then I noticed that uh, really huge bounce from, uh, where is my thing? Huge bounce from the previous day close. And it would just did a really nice V reversal. So there was obvious that, uh, where's my big pen? What am I doing here? <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, sorry about that guys oh, okay here um, yeah so what happened was uh, I see a huge bounce from the previous day close this dashed line is the previous day close you can also see it in your uh, uh, in your thing uh, montage in your DAS so 1277 that's the previous day close so it bounced back so I really didn't plan to touch it because I had a really good day as well but it really did and sold off back to the previous day close and popped up and I say, you know what, this is a long. And uh, I'll just, I went long, you know, and sold a little bit here and then added more because I saw that it's selling off, it's buying back up. So this looked like a, you know, somehow it's like this lightning bolt pattern that Peter has, but it's just a smaller consolidation here. And the only thing that I love about it is just volume and order flow, just such an amazing, you know, order flow and volume so i added even more uh, and popped up and now to the moon so i sold uh you know did kind of hold it through this consolidation and uh yeah so the last piece that i got out was about 14 away i still have uh, really good shares on that oh, arc is moving up wow yeah i saw that arc k has been showing up on the scanner a bit yeah so um. <clears throat> So now I'm going to hold AMC uh, to see if we can bring it from the... Because our astronaut has got us stuck in the moon from the last uh, squeeze <laughs> that we had. Uh, so we're going to bring uh, bring it back from, from the moon. <coughs> so I'm going to hold that as well. So we did mess around with a little bit of other stuff. What was that? Yeah, plug was, uh, plug was really a pain. We tried to catch this uh, reversal on it. And it didn't so i lost money on that and then it came back up and i just messed around with it it's just not trading really well plug today uh it's just horrible it's a nightmare um but amc i think is gonna go above so it's big asks here do you see these big asks and it's gonna get filled here in the big time and sells so these are really uh intention to feel to the moon it's gonna go to the moon three two one yeah. Yeah, so see 655 lot, you're gonna see that, you know, actually when they get filled, you see it. So there are, I have two time and sales. One of them is for the big lot. I think anything over 20,000 lot, and one of them is just the normal time and sales. This is called tape. It's a very, very important, I think, so you, you probably can see all of these going in there at 14. See, there's, there's that 200,000 <coughs> volume went there. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, my recap for today. Um, holding uh, 4,000 shares of AMC, a little bit of ARK, uh, some TNA, which is IWM ETF, and some TQQ and see what's gonna happen to us. Uh, so this is a Lamborghini project. I know, Jason Russell, I know you're gonna comment in our YouTube. <laughs> you say, why am I back holding? This is a Lamborghini project. So it's either cardboard or Lamborghini. <laughs> we'll see about that. And, and now that's pretty much a cardboard, but soon it's going to get to Lamborghini, I hope. <laughs> um, so this uh, TNA and TQQ is really my exposure to uh, the market. You know, I want to be exposed to the market because when you reach to a certain point, you know, your account is getting a little bit bigger. It's actually a different account, but uh, you need to have some exposure to the market. So uh, 
<clears throat> probably not a good idea doing it, but so far I've survived. So we're gonna hold that one. And uh, Brian, anything from your recap? Uh, yeah, no, we ha had a, a couple of really good trades on Disney. Uh, I was long in the pre-market. Um, I'm glad I got out of it before the market opened. And uh, tried to take it long again, but then it uh, turned into a really good short, so I flipped my position and shorted it. And then uh, the other trade was uh, DKNG. That worked out real well. I won't talk about my AMC trade with you. Perfect. You just wanted to stop me out. Yeah. So ARC is a combination of a very, very aggressive emerging companies. The reason that someone is asking why ARC, it's an ETF that Cathy would design as, uh, you know, the emerging technologies. So if you, if you search ARC, <laughs> they have actually, uh, I have a really good website, ARK Invest. You learn a lot, you know. Ardi and I constantly going into the research center and trying to learn. Uh, so there are articles, white papers, podcasts, and everything. So we learn a lot, but they generally want to invest into disruptive innovation. The companies that not now, but in the near future, they can disrupt our, uh, you know, our lifestyle. So, I mean, that was a little bit of fun. And it's really beaten up this year. It really, really, I think it's down like 20%, 30% now. So I thought maybe it's a good buying opportunity. I don't like to trade single stocks, but when you go into the ETFs, because you're exposed to this, uh, a combination of funds, then, you know, it's uh, the high is like 150 or something. Uh, yeah, 160. And now year to date, I think it's down 20% or something. I think there's potential for it to bounce back to around 120. So it's going to be a good hold <clears throat> for me. Okay, guys, to the moon. So the plan is we're going to keep AMC for to the moon. It's really doing a consolidation. I don't want to add here because it's just when you're adding, you're missing. Actually, it's, it's a good place to add. But uh, the way that is squeezing, I have a feeling that this one is going to go maybe to 15, 16 today. Uh, so if I keep this a um, few thousand shares, then it's going to be really good. All right. Thank you, guys. What am I doing? Where is my yeah. thing? Did I press, press it or? Yeah, I did. <laughs>